Hello, but it's just Eamon519 here, and welcome to me forcing my friends to play games against their will while keeping them in my basement. Today, we have as our special guest, Dedede. Say hi. Hola. I'm trapped here. Basically, so uh, <laughs> uh, for this series, I wanna I have a few games that I really like, and I wanna see what my friends would think if they played the game. So I'm going to be making my friends play them, and I'll just generally see what they think of it. So D D D is gonna have control of my mouse. Yeah, I'm in, I'm mousing around. No, I'm not. There we go. Uh, there we go. Now he's mousing around. He's gonna start the game. He has only seen clips of this game. He doesn't actually know how it works properly. So uh, the end is never. The end is never. Welcome to the cult, DDD. That's why we brought you to the basement. This nice. is the story of a man named Stanley. Mhm. Mm he's parabling. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Yeah. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven. And he pushed buttons on the keyboard. What a great job. Him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although Good for him. might have considered it soul killing, Stanley relished every moment of the orders he had made, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy and then one day something very peculiar happened something that would forever change Stanley something he would Whoa. never quite forget he got bit by a radioactive spider for nearly an hour yeah. when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow no Crazy. one showed up to give him instructions call a meeting or even say hi this is what happens when you anti-social Stanley of the company had this, <laughs> this complete isolation something was very clearly wrong shocked frozen solid Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time but as he came to his wits and regained his senses he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office oh I can play the game now that's crazy yeah. all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean? No. Stanley decided you can't press the mouse button to interact with stuff, by the way. I can or I can't? You can. You can. There's only like three buttons that do something. Well, well, okay, you have your walking around buttons, right? Mm -hmm. You can press the first mouse button to interact with stuff. And technically, there is instant. There is like one instance where the space bar does something, but it's not like it will. T don't worry about the space button. I just have you to know, legally mention it. To, you know, it's kind of hard to interact with stuff when there's like no like reticle or anything. That's, oh yeah, that, 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 that's just... what makes it fun. You just have to click shit. Have you noticed, by yeah. the way, what sound plays whenever you click on stuff? It's like a, you know, it's like a... Yeah, a, a mouse or whatever. Uh, it's a keyboard and a mouse, which basically means that you are actually dreaming of this. You're still at your desk brainlessly tight. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's crazy, you know, you had me there for a minute. Ash is in a coma theory confirmed, man. Every go. character of every TV show is actually in a coma. Fun fact, I'm the new game theory. And bro, Ash is in a coma, bro. That's was all a dream the whole time. Oh, congratulations, you locked yourself in. <laughs> Shut up! I'm gaming, bro. It's how, you, it's how you play the game. Indeed. And it's locked. I, I don't know why that one made a different sound. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. And now, before you enter, we have the main mechanic of this game. Do you listen or do you not? Or do you somehow find another option besides listening and not listening? I don't know. Well, I'm going to be in character. I'm going to mindlessly obey. Sounds about right. Average Bardock player in fighters. <laughs> I only know my square button. Only my square button. It's just like intended. One of these is gonna open someday. Uh, I ain't saying shit. There's not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Nice. Can I take this? I can't. Right. Oh. This, this is gonna open. Yep, I knew it. I'm too good at it. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. No, there's something in here, bro. I know it. I have the biggest smile on my face right now, bro. There's something, bro. I'm clicking there everything. No choice to 
<laughs> There's something in the fucking room. No reason to still be here. It was baffling I'm... that Stanley was still just sitting in the It room. is quite baffling, <laughs> but I'm trying to find something. <laughs> The game knows. Oh, what? As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Fuck you. I'm going down. I don't care. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. He's just not listening anymore. He got tired. The broom closet broke him. The rinse closet. Different man. He considered the possibility of losing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such yeah. a competitive economy, why yep. had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Man really wants to click on everything. I do. I, I click Don't worry. Yeah. No, yeah, just, just, keep, just keep walking for a bit here. You'll be fine. Existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley Wait a minute. Was, he began to make Don't worry about it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. <laughs> no, don't, don't listen to him. Don't worry about it. This is all too strange. This can't be real. Bro, how do, how do I break the loop? Why am I like in golden experience? Listen room, to the narrator. Bro? I'm dreaming! He yelled. Yeah, you were in a coma all along. I told you the Ash is in a coma thing. <laughs> I did not expect you to honestly take this set of uh, like decisions after I made that joke, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> you can write this shit, I swear. I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to I will wake up soon. Boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's beeping now. Yeah. Not gonna lie, when I first entered the room with the car, which was like the first room you get to when you get down here, I got some major. Oh, I'm no clipping, bro. Oh my gosh. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not broken up. How like the car room scared the hell out of me when I first started. It was kind of creepy. The strangest question Damn. of all entered Stanley's head. Mm -hmm. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? They um, now the voice he found the anime narrator, the manga narrator. That's crazy. No. Strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. He thought, and while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley no, simply do. deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Yeah, yeah. Stanley is as awake right just like to play. I need to memorize it. It's like a dachshund. With 69 HC something something. After all, he knew for certain beyond One day I'll get a soda from this thing. <laughs> Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove oh. that he was in control. Let's go. Yeah. Base Stanley. I'm a strong, so he Sigma male. Man. <laughs> he strong dependent man. Oh. I don't need no dreams. The cool weight of the blanket on his skin. Uh, the curse of the mattress on his back. Heavy. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Why did he leave the window open? Let me wake up. <laughs> He thought to himself, I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Buttons. It's all buttons. I I I'm playing Bardock. And buttons. And my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything is normal. I've never heard such cat before in my life. Okay. I'm back here. And he was not okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. Please. I have a boss. I have an Please, sir. Please, 
Can someone tell me I am real? I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Damn. Damn. Fuck. Congratulations, you gave Stanley a heart attack. How do you feel about yourself? This is the story of a Great. woman named Mariella. Yep. Wait, what? I'm, I'm going super now? That's crazy. Like any other. What? Got Different person now? Mm-hmm. And walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed Damn. dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she <laughs> Everyone knows what crazy people look like. <laughs> exactly. She thought to herself exactly. how she was to be normal. <laughs> I am <laughs> women, dude. I am <laughs> my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to She's kind of based, I'm not gonna lie, man. Way, seeing this man made her feel better. Jesus! That's crazy. That's insane. Day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this. So it was only a she had no time for that man. There, staring down at the body. And then she stepped on his corpse as she kept on moving. <laughs> she turned and ran. Damn. Yeah, that doesn't look suspicious at all, man. Running from the dead corpse. Oh, oh, hey, no, we're back. no need to call an ambulance. Um, All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Hey, wait a minute. Stanley decided to mean? go to the meeting room. Perhaps you should check the computers, by the way. Oh, yeah. You should, uh... Do I to, like, zoom in? Or no, but you can try to click it. I can't read. I no, can't but read. you should really check the computers. Remember, I will. Okay, well, not the ones that are turned off. It's uh, there's just a very weird computer oh. somewhere. Whoa. Let me do, oh, let me what? do more inputs, bro. Wait, what? So, Yo, I'm. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so, a uh, fun I... fact: that was actually a hidden achievement. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that to another point. You shouldn't have done it. Now. Fuck it. You're, you're smart. That's all we're getting to right now. Basically, is what I'm saying. You're a very yeah, intelligent I'm... human being. I know. I play Bardock, I know, I'm very intelligent. <laughs> For fuck's sake, why do we always end up back at Bardock? <laughs> you gotta throw it. Wait, what's this hallway? What's this, hallway? what's this hallway always here? Wait, wait, am I tripping or are you Before. tripping? You you are you are tripping, bro. This hallway was here. I remember this hallway. Do you remember this? Cause I don't. Okay, that's what I told you know. That one you got me. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, no. he entered the door. This For the record, by the way, when I say I don't recognize something, I'm not just being haha funny to not like review anything to him. I genuinely don't remember some of the stuff in this game. To admire it. Bad player. I remember it all. Well, honestly, the last time I played this, it was the deluxe edition, which is quite different. It still has the regular pass, but you know who the fuck does the regular pass in deluxe? Mm -hmm. It's really been worth the detour after all. Mm -hmm. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Exactly, Stanley it's very great. Here, drinking it all in. Mm -hmm. in Damn, in don't you? Hey, did he, did he, uh oh, but I was about to say, don't you want some coffee Stanley nut mug? The first open door on his left. And That's sadly, it. not. The first open door on your left. The first open door on your. The first open. Good job. Walk through the maintenance section. Walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. Mm. Back on track. Back, back, back on, back on. Mm. Man does not want to listen. That's crazy. Man listens to this. Man. This is torture. Man, man only listens to the narrator to just be like, "Nah, fuck you." Actually. <laughs> but Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further yeah. off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go. Well, Dev get called out. Damn bad Dev doesn't know his own map. Left. Oh no, no, it's to the right. Damn. Mistake. Damn. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? He thinks. Clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> Damn, he has to read the script. <laughs> he has to pull out the blueprint. So he went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep. Oh, 
My man has like has like a choice skill tree. Absolutely, this way. Huh? Yeah, it's gonna close. I'm about to get ran over. <laughs> he. Oh oh oh. What no, the hell? No 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Stanley, they close your eyes. I mean, I'm definitely closing my eyes as we speak. Very clearly. It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about what have I done? Waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense. We'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, mm -hmm. suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm? Okay. From the top. From the top. Right, let's go. Time to speed run. All of this let's go. We're gone. I get the world record here, but. Any percent. To go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a man. Now I'm I'm not really an advocate normally is speedrunning. When Stanley But for this one I am. What? No I'm Door doors. I started. I swear I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Call cap. Everything should be Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you mm. move the story somewhere or a hold on? Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Why do you want to go to the one thing that's blocked off, man? You have all these fucking doors. Uh, uh, well, when I climbed the desk, I thought I'd be able to climb that chair as well. Like... No, it was because there was like a box underneath you that you stepped on and that allowed you to kind of close up. I don't oh, think it really happens anywhere else, but I'm in the bloody back rooms, man. What the hell? I mean, honestly, you're not fully wrong. With the shit that happens in this office, I... oh hey, look, you're finally behind the chairs. Congratulations. Congratulations. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. You were it was. Do we need to restart the game again? Huh? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's Nothing give it a shot. This. Why not? No, I was exploring. Oh. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Probably. Knowing his goofy ass. I never miss. Hit or miss. Let's go. One day, this door right here will open. One day. Okay. Maybe in the no deluxe choice. edition. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible I've lost all sense of choice. Where we just <laughs> you went from two choices to too many choices to no choices. Damn. Oh, well, congratulations. You're going backwards. Let's go. Backtracking. This door will open right here. Damn it. Oh, DVD, can you look to your left for a second? Every time you do a new playthrough and enter this place, can you make sure to check out the window by 425? Just in case. This one right here? Yeah, just just every, every time you start like a new a new proper playthrough or like a new restart, uh, just check there. Aha. There's like an Easter egg. Something. The story. And it's a very low chance to trigger. I've never seen it before, but you know... Just, what the fuck? Don't worry. Okay, Don't worry. Don't way. worry. I'll get it to trigger. Can we trace our steps? This ain't that shame. Ah. Uh, well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Yeah, because, because this is one of the endings that you scrapped, freaking death. I can't quite recall, but I believe. It was one where Stanley goes to fight against aliens in a war. Is that correct? Hmm. And in fact, that would be from this house, bro. I thought Jason Voorhees was gonna come out. Supposed to be doing. How about this? You win. Yeah. Yes. The best Ken player in his house for a reason. That's crazy. Good job. No, bro. Best Ken player in my room. <laughs> his mom is a secret top 500. <laughs> she goes to Evo, bro. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Damn, that's crazy. He called you a cheater. Whatever this place is, I am. He literally just supplies you drugs and calls you an addict. That's crazy. 
I am a cheater. I use Ultra Rose on LOE. So, right. thank you. I've got a <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I don't remember this. Sure we don't get lost, I've hey, it's to help you make sure that your dumbass doesn't get lost again. Yell, yell, yell. Hey, this is not the, th th that is not the Easter egg that I was talking about, by the way. It was so nice to see. Oh my god, he was playing Solitaire. I feel bad for that guy. I mean, Solitaire is what? What do you mean? Solitaire is a fucking gamer game. It's not, it's not as good as Checkers, sorry. Oh, both can bo uh, two goats can coexist in the same room, dude. No, <laughs> <laughs> nah, they can't because one isn't a goat. That's the difference. Ah, <laughs> uh, bro, you must just be blind, bro. You must have those PETA glasses on if you can't recognize a real goat. Why do you keep going the way in? <laughs> the... Is the story of no destination oh, still different. a story? Simply by the you think? <laughs> Do you mean potentially the fact that you entered a room that's never opened up before when you went into the solitary One day. Room? One day, bro. Nature of life itself. Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Uh -huh. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of Oxygen. this office, is this office in fact the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird. I'm very happy that you followed the wall, that you did the exact same thing I did on my <laughs> first playthrough. I'm very... <laughs> I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, yeah, this. Yeah. Uh, oh, I know this song. I know. I don't remember from where it is either. I do. Well, I heard it in Punch. Hey, out. check the computer oh, screen. Oh, it's awful sad. Like I heard this in Punch Out because um, before you play one of the boxers, like they have like a little backstory thing in the name of this song. Ah. And this song played for one of them. I forget which one though. I swear, they, this map creator should really make like an office, like or like a warehouse type horror game. Oh my god! True, it won't actually work. Uh, uh, wait, what the fuck? Hey, wait a minute. D D D, you truly are like uh, one one of my like. You know how people are like spirit animals, you're like my spirit human. <laughs> you, 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 you need to go back, you need to go back. Okay, okay, I'll go back. He told you to take a good look at the fern. Oh, that's some good Stay fern right here, that's, that's ferning. Will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't mm -hmm. want to miss anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got all the angles, gotta get all the angles here. That man, man's getting all the angles so he can look back at the recording in case the Wait, question comes up. We're back at the office. <laughs> no, no, no. Line, you do no. know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? <laughs> Is any of this ringing a bell? <laughs> Welcome yeah. back to the page, biggest spoiler. Well, you kind of, you have to go out and continue the story. It will not yeah, say anything yeah. if you are backwards. I'm just saving you some oh, time. No, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you. I mean, to be honest, this is technically the story. Oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Restart. I like how in some continuity paths, it's in, it's like implied that he, uh, what's it called? Like actually Bruce's memory every reset, and in this one, it's just it fuck it. We're intelligent people. Yeah, fuck that line. Why can't we make up our own story? Tell him again. I thought it was a computer in this. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Wow. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, yeah. a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want? To can, I get, can I get a new story, please? Yeah, I'm kind of wild. Use mm -hmm. your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Damn. Let's go. Dynamic duo. Oh, Sounds like something you would hear. You again, Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our hey, awesome new story. No lines or. <laughs> did you see that? By, did you see that? By the way, in uh, be fine. in the subtitles. Yeah, trademark. <laughs> Why is there trademarks everywhere? I don't understand. Oh right, it because it keeps referring to the line. Right, the line is a trademark. 
crazy. Ah, I'm back to choice. the difficult decision. To a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door... This is such a funny experiment to see you play this because walking in the wrong direction before the arrows appear is another thing I myself and I've seen a lot of other people do. <laughs> I thought when it comes like walking in circles, I always get it wrong every time. No, it's one of two things. People either start walking in the wrong direction and when the arrows appear, they turn around or they walk in the right direction. When the arrows appear, they say, no, fuck you and they start walking in the other direction. Built different. Yes, True. Then, by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. <laughs> Come, Stanley. <laughs> Our destiny awaits. Damn, I thought I was asking you a choice. Nice. Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> DDD, you've been playing the confusion ending for 16 minutes. Congratulations. What this is? Oh, it's actually oh, timing? Oh my god. Ending. We've been in this recording session for 26 minutes, and like 16 of it has literally been this. That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? My life yeah, is now, a lie. According to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? You can read what it says, by the way. This is like how everything happens after each restart. So right now we're at the fourth restart, right? Find the confusing and then the narrator restarts the game at the center. After the next one, he would forget as Sally attempts to play the story, but is prevented, unable to go anywhere to do anything. The game restarts on its own. Six will be find the line again, begin following the line, find an identical replica of the office that has to begun to deteriorate, attempt to make up a story here, narrator restarts the game. Seven, restart, there. shut up narrator, there is no longer an office, simply black space, wander in the blackness, and oh, well there you go, that's the rest. Find a bookstore, get bored, leave, narrator restarts the game, narrator is gone after a long time, Stanley dies. How would we even know? Will someone come for us? something happen so okay I guess now we just wait you know I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story wouldn't you agree this man is coping <laughs> copium ingesting in the original copium before copium and not the destination so I hope that's where we are right now mm -hmm. we'll weren't we eventually well, in the meantime... Huh? So, uh, turn around. Make sure to check your computer at your desk. Okay, that's not the one. Try to look for, uh, the special computer again if you can. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, and the window, of course. The special window. Oh, yeah. To your right? No, no, it's uh, oh, okay, it's not this time. Big Sag. Very small okay. chance. I'm so special. Oh, found it. There it is. So every time Three you more. basically complete an ending, you can fill another slot in there. Now it's up to you to discover what happens after that. Nice. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Where are we going yes, today, please. sir? You want to see what the canonical story was this time, or you yeah, want to go hang yeah, out in yeah. the broom closet again? Yeah, bro. I would if there was something yeah, there. Was not a single person here. You want me to tell you something fun about the broom closet ending? Stanley decided about the broom closet, I mean. Office, hoping he might find you know an answer there. There is a thing called the broom closet ending in the dialogue do I, do I just stay in there for like a whole year yes <laughs> mm, it doesn't thing. actually end your run but it gives Tempting. dialogue oh no oh no 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 not again i won't be part of this i'm not going to encourage you i'm not going to say anything at all <laughs> i'm just oh. going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room hey yo take your time Hey yo! What? Yeah, that wrench, bro, from Team Fortress 2. Do do do, dee dee dee. 
I'm, I think the way to continue this is to leave the room and then wait for him to talk and go back in. I don't know if you have to go back in, I think. Uh, staircase, no. Stanley walked upstairs Whatever. To his oh. boss's office. I've never actually back done it. Well, well, I've never actually had it happen that he continues the dialogue between runs, so I don't know how to do this. You know, it's fancy. Oh, that's a fancy, mm. fancy door. Ah, you couldn't open it this time. See, so sometimes have a chance to open it. There is something fun we can do, but we'll do the same path you're doing right now, but then, like, after this uh, run. There's something really fun you can do here. Nice. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crazy. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? <laughs> what he could not have known was that the keypad behind Funny, the boss's desk guarded so the terrible truth that Indeed. his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley is incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the Another analogy for part of, part of players invited. <laughs> he stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, math is stupid. Indeed, but not for this one. There's nothing there, it's just a wall. Nah, nah bro, I mean, there's something bro, magic. Magic! Magic buttons! What you're doing now is called basically the canonical story. I don't know why you needed a loading screen here, especially knowing where we end up or whatever. He felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Well, I hear like whip. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Nice. Now. I need you to like look up for a second. Never mind, it's too dark to see shit. Just go ahead. <laughs> Time to get mind controlled. The lights rose well, now in an enormous room packed with television. Oh, it's this room. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley? Now turn around and look up. Did he have the strength? Yeah, what do you see up there? An owl from Fortnite. No, no, no. I mean, what do you see sticking out of the wall? Yeah, it's the platform that we were up here before. Yee. All right, let's see what happens. Can't believe you got the you got like the ending before that basically spoiled what this room is like. I'm too good at the game. Indeed, he did. Yeah, I mean, I guess I did say that speed run, but nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. His co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Damn. One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Truly the American way. <laughs> this mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. Where's 247? Look real quick. 247? Under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason oh, yeah, for it's there at the bottom? This boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, that's... Am I misremembering what it was? He refused to believe it. I don't know. He couldn't. Oh, somebody got fired there. <laughs> Two right people have been fired. Damn. Else's control. Never. It was unthinkable. Damn. Was it? Was yes. It impossible? No. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly yes. blind to the world? You know, D D, your America analogy is actually starting to make more sense the more we listen to this guy. <laughs> Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. Or sad, or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided yeah, that this machinery yeah. would never again exert its terrible power over a human life. 
The Funkies don't do shit. Would dismantle the one piece yet. Once and for all. I'm just saying it in case you just start like pressing really every button around it. They don't do well. Damn, I actually can't click that one. Damn. Odd. Of course, the of course the big red button I can't press. That's a... you can't. Oh, that's weird. Oh, whatever. Let's keep it know. going. We need to go to the yeah. fa facility. The buttons in this room do serve a purpose, just not yet. Are you gonna turn off the source of the room's power? He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Good morning, USA. Oh no. Stand me. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Power. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, <laughs> there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm Damn. You don't have nearly the power uh, you think you do. Damn. The last ending would like to disagree. Pertinent. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency uh -huh. detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, new detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Oh, not long until detonation then. America. Let's say I'm not here, bro. Two minutes. Turn around. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stan? <laughs> oh, brother, brother. You, you have to find a way to turn off the nuke, my dude. Story. Shape it to your Practical new man. Oh, this is much better than what ha. I had in mind. What a shame yeah. we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the Did you remember the, the, the big number button? The one with the big five on it? More time There's more of them. About you, about Remember me. it. Where we're going. I'm guessing I have to press them in order. I barely know where to start. I'm not telling you you have to do anything. You could just stand still and die. I don't feel like dying, bro. Oh, big, big plot, big plot, big plot. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. <laughs> Other times, what I let the office sink into the ground, <laughs> swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. Oh, this version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. Mm -hmm. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Uh -oh. I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the oh, so nice, Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this. <laughs> Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One yeah. soul? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. Uh -huh. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see Bruh. you made humble. My guy. <laughs> this is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. 
Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. You might want to press the button. Eventually, you know, I'm a daring guy. I wait till the last second, bro. Did you not listen to what he said about pressing the buttons? I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment I pressed the button, bro. Did you not listen to what he said? There's nothing in this room that can stop it. Damn, bro, so you lied to me. It's crazy. I simply suggested something that you already saw. I never said it was gonna save you. That's crazy. Facts. Now then, before we... All of his co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had... Before Dang, we're going crazy. to continue this, uh, I think that's enough for part one. Because this is 40 minutes. We'll record part two right after. Because I am kind of interested to see where the hell this is. Because I don't remember the game ever starting like this for me. So, um, or I probably forgot about it. So, if you guys did enjoy this and want to see how this thing ends. This is a nice cliff cliffhanger. Dude, did a good job. You clearly know what you were doing. Content creator genius. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> okay, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, I want to thank everybody so much for joining on in. If you guys want to see more of this, make sure to put it in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts. And if you uh, if you guys have any other games that you want to see us do a play like this, make sure to let us know. Maybe you guys want to hear some games that I have on my list. Just ask away and I'll put them down. So yeah, I'll see you guys hopefully in part two. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.